Hey, how many creepers are up here? Jesus Christ! Okay, so... Hello everyone, I am Boiler and I welcome you back to Minecraft Survival 1.18, episode uh, 24. Uh, yeah, I'm standing in a desert village, uh, it is night, which is why I'm so close to this uh, well, so in just in case I could go, <laughs> go in there if something were to spawn above us, because uh, yeah, I think I didn't sleep for three nights, so uh, phantoms might appear, I don't know, and uh, yeah, we have a, th a thunderstorm as well. So yeah, I told in the last episode I will go to the desert village to trade for mending books, and that's what I did. I have 10 mending books here. I also have a frost walker too, uh, that's one I found in a desert temple, because uh, yeah, I needed to farm some uh, emeralds here, so what I did is I planted a shit ton of uh, sugarcane, you might see that around the lake here everywhere, sugarcane. And yeah, I farmed some of that uh, to get more emeralds to buy 10 mending books. And once I got bored, I just went to that direction. And uh, you might remember we explored this temple you see back there, if you can see it at this light level. There's a temple back there. We explored that a while back, but there's actually another temple way, way back there. So I basically uh, just traveled along the uh, forest edge and... Uh, to try to find out how far this desert goes. I didn't read the I didn't reach the end of it actually. I just got to the next temple and I raided that. And yeah, I got the Frostwalker too. Uh, I got two diamonds, three golden apples, and these two horse armors from it, which is actually insane. That's quite a bit of loot, which we will obviously take back to our base. So uh, yeah, cool, uh, cool stuff here. So that was that temple all the way back. There, and um, I completely forgot there's another village, if you remember, uh, I think it's over there. Yeah, I think over there is the other village. Uh, that has a lot of unemployed um, villagers, we'll actually be able to get some more librarians from there. That's something we'll do in the future. And uh, just quickly uh, about these two librarians, so one of these trades, um, trades mending books, as I told you. I don't know which one, there are two in there. Uh, one of them trades mending books. Uh, let me just quickly throw something away here. Uh, so I can get this. Yeah. Uh, so this guy... Oh, I didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> so he has a Silk Touch and Frostwalker. And this guy... Yeah. Um, so show me, you have the mending book and looting one, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry I hit you, I didn't want to. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, I need to have, I need to keep the lectern here. Um, can I get out without you escaping immediately? Yeah, I can, so. I hope he'll, he will calm, calm down. <laughs> so, the, the funny thing is, the other guy there, he had infinity when I last was here, and now he sells Silk Touch. I have no idea why, because I wanted to get another Infinity for my bow. Because as you can see, my bow is almost used up, so that sucks, basically. Uh, do I have more arrows in here that I want to take with me? I don't think so, no. Yeah, so uh, somehow we lost the uh, Infinity trade, and now we have a Silk Touch trade. Now, Silk Touch is also useful, but uh, I just hope the uh, Mending trade will not reset now we have 10 mending books for now, we'll, we'll, go, we'll be good, but uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, but uh, I think next that we, the next thing we'll want is protection. And um, let me think. I, I really would like to get fortune uh, for my pickaxe, but the thing is I only need fortune once. So to actually uh, convert the villager to a fortune trader, I don't know if that is really useful, so I don't know. I don't know, and uh, if you're wondering what I'm rambling about here, uh, I uh, want to wait until the sun comes up, uh, but since we have a thunderstorm, I have no idea what time it is. Um, yeah, let me show you something else. So we have a lot of rotten flesh in here that we can obviously turn into emeralds at the other village, uh, where we were at the in the last episode, because we have two clerics, two clerics there that will trade 
Emeralds for rotten flesh. Yeah, and this got them. Why is the why is the um, wandering trader invisible at night? Does he have an invisibility potion? Are you here? Huh? Are you here? Yes, you are here. He would sell nautical shells, but I don't have I don't have uh, emeralds. Uh, yeah, I used up my entire stack of emeralds. I have four. I had four stacks of emeralds when I arrived here. I used them all up, and then some because uh, the mending books are twenty nine emeralds each, which is insane. So before we go to the other village over there, I will obviously have to. Uh, to grind some emeralds and I will do that at the uh, other village where we can sell sticks for emeralds. That's what I will do. And I'm actually sick of waiting, so so let's get back to our uh, to our base. And actually I will do that off screen because, uh, yeah, I want to show you actually, inter actually interesting stuff in this episode and not uh, me walking through uh, through the desert basically so that's not what i want to show you do i have yeah i have space for wool i will get i will get some wool on my way back if i can find some sheep yeah and i will i uh, will see you back at the base where we will uh finally craft some diamond gear um that we'll actually then keep we'll, uh, craft diamond gear with mending and uh, Unbreaking on it. That will be great. So I probably have to go along up here if there's a skeleton down there <laughs> uh, Because do I have no I don't have skeleton loot in my inventory, so I don't want to uh, accumulate more uh, skeleton loot. So yeah, see you back at the base Yeah, and uh, here we are again back at our base. I already sorted my stuff and I've got the unbreaking books from the uh, enchanting room uh, that we bought last time. So um, ten, uh, ten, ma ten times unbreaking and ten times mending. Now the uh, anvil is over here. Um, yeah, so uh, maybe I should put that in the enchanting room, uh, but I don't really know where. So it's for now the, the anvil is over here. So we need uh, the blank books as well. So what we will do basically here is... Oh no, that will not work. Uh, I'm stupid. I, we don't need the blank books. I don't know what I'm, th I'm thinking here. So uh, we need to in combine these. Yeah, okay. It will cost three levels. We have 51 actually. That, that will be all right. So uh, I want to put these in the middle. Does this make a difference? Oh, that's actually cheaper. So I need to have mending on the right. Okay, I need to have mending on the right. That is for some reason cheaper. <laughs> okay. So mending on breaking, mending on breaking. So um mending on the right on yeah. Okay. So we'll just combine these. Now if you're wondering what the hell is he doing, um it is actually cheaper to first combine the books and then put one book on your armor tool or, or weapon or whatever than if you would put each uh book individually on on there. So uh we can actually look at this. So it, it costs me two levels to combine these books here. I will leave a few to uh, have a look at what the difference is. So I would think I'll leave, I will actually leave these two here, and uh, now I have eight. I think for now that will do it. Um, so let's have a look, where are our diamonds? So our diamonds are in there. So uh, we should have enough diamonds for everything I want to make, because I now finally want to make a diamond armor set, because I really want that extra protection, so uh, we'll do that. And of course we'll uh, improve that to netherite once we get netherite. Uh, but uh, you can do that after en enchanting it, so it doesn't really matter uh, when we do it. For now we'll just want to have the uh, diamond full protection. Now let's go back to the uh, anvil zone. If I would take my breastplate and I would put mending on it, uh, that will not work obviously. So it will cost me two, and it will cost me another two for this one. No, it cost me six. It will cost, so this will be... And the, the cost increases every time... Oh no, uh, that's actually... Uh, let me see. Mending costs two, and this costs three. This will cost me... F um, but the cost increases, so after putting one... 
book on there uh, it will cost me more for the next book so this is five both of these and one of these is uh, six is that right yeah the, uh, these all cost six but if I would put on one book and then the other it should be more expensive I will not, I will not try that out right now obviously because uh, I uh, I will run out of levels uh, <laughs> and I, will, I have but um, paid too much for these books actually so um, yeah mending and unbreaking on the chess play cost six levels uh, same on the um, on the helmet cost six levels we will run out of levels I have I have a feeling that we will run out of levels. So unbreaking and mending. Ah, wrong again. And the boots as well. And again, wrong. Yeah. So we have ten levels left, which is not much. <laughs> but I want a pickaxe. Can we? Can we afford a pickaxe? Give me two sticks. Can we afford a pickaxe? Um. Okay. So we have diamonds. We'll make a pickaxe, and then. Uh, we will try, we will try, so uh, just make sure I don't screw anything up. Yeah, actually we can, so we have four levels left, now that's it for the moment. But we do have a sword that is pretty decent, we'll uh, obviously uh, keep that for a moment. But now, we can get rid of these. Because now we have an unbreaking mending pickaxe, which is great. And we'll also be able to uh, just ignore this stuff. I will, I will keep it for a moment, uh, just so, as a backup, basically, if we should die and uh, lose everything. Uh, but for now, yeah, we are now covered in diamonds and now we have full armor, which is pretty nice. Now these books, uh, do I want to keep these around here? We have four levels. We could actually make the last two books. We could actually do that. So which way around was it? Yeah, that's that's the way. Okay. Um, let's unbreaking menu. Oh, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> there goes our anvil. So uh, okay. Um, what do I need to make the anvil? Um, um anvil. Uh, block of iron. Three blocks of iron. Okay, we'll make three blocks of iron then. Where's the block of... Where's the block of iron? So one... Um, block of iron. Two... Three. Um, that's... That's the anvil, so, uh... Yeah, let's, uh, let's drop that down. Again. Okay. Um What the hell? Where did our book go? Did we lose our book? No, it's there. Okay, unbreaking and mending. Jesus Christ, now I had a shock. So, okay, we have five more of these. And I don't, actually don't want to put them back uh, into the um, enchanting room because the, the anvil is here, so we'll need those here. So, now let's have a look. So, we do have two uh, pickaxes here. Efficiency, three. Uh, Sail touch and unbreaking. Uh, unbreaking and efficiency. So, we will... Efficiency, four. What's the highest efficiency we can have? Did I did I make a mistake? <laughs> did I make a mistake? Let me see. Ma I didn't uh, count for that efficiency. And now it goes to level five. So this is this is this is fine. Okay, we we will use these two up, uh, maybe or just keep them as a backup. But this is our uh, pickaxe now, and breaking and mending. We'll put efficiency on here, obviously, and uh, fortune as well. So, do I want to keep my affinity bow for now? Yes, I think I want. And we need to eat something. Yeah, let's have a look at ourselves. Hey, 
Let's have a look at ourselves. Clawed in enchanted diamond armor and holding a breath. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's great. I have been waiting for this moment for a long time, guys. So what else do we want to do? Now, we are completely out of levels and we are completely out of emeralds. And one way to make emeralds is uh, rotten flesh. So, um, you know what? We have a zombie spawner and we do have that. Where do we have that? We have that back there. We do have a zombie spawner. Yeah, do we have... we need scaffolding to get up there. Um, actually I wanna build a, um, I wanna build a zombie farm. I wanna build a zombie farm, guys. So let's, let's, uh, let's make a zombie farm. Um, I will obviously get there off screen, but I will be back with you once I'm there. But first, uh, where the hell is my... Or actually, we, we will go there together. So we'll go there together, but then I will uh, we'll, uh, interrupt the recording, build this thing off screen, and we'll be back with you once it's working. Do we need glass? We need water, so much, that much I know, but uh, I don't know if we need glass. So we'll take some scaffolding, we'll take two buckets. I obviously don't need the shears, I don't know why I'm taking these with me. Um, I don't want to shear any sheep down here. Uh, and even if I wanted to, I can't. So, uh, do we have... No. Yeah, we'll need more space at some point. Maybe I will need to get rid of some of the stuff here. I don't know, I don't know. I have too much stuff. Uh, in Minecraft and in real life as well. So, uh, yeah, our lava generator is working. And I improved this a little bit. Um, but not much. <laughs> I still have to work on this uh, obsidian generator over there. So, uh, let's see here. So we'll need two buckets of water and we'll need to put some scaffolding over there. And I still need to sort out my never nether gate. If you remember, uh, somehow we, um, yeah, somehow, um, let me see. Somehow we ended up in a different gate when we, yeah, uh, when we got back here from the nether. And I have no idea why the hell that is. So, no, no, Jesus. Um, so that is not it. Um, where do we need? So we need to put this there and one more and then should work. So let's put the rest back and then let's get to this. Let's get to this zombie spawner. Yeah, and this needs a lot of work, but yeah, we'll, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> First, I'm really concerned in gearing up. I want to be able to go to the nether without having to fear to get killed by some random monster i really wanna i really wanna gear up first so i will spend a lot of time uh building farms and actually uh grinding emeralds and then grinding uh enchanted books and enchanted gear and stuff like that so that will be uh what i want to do for the foreseeable future so we can gear up and then be basically carefree do i need the boat i don't need the boat Obviously, I don't need the boat if I go down into the cave. So uh, we'll leave the boat here. Do I need a building block? Um, I don't think so. We'll get enough building blocks from uh, from mining down there. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll leave that stuff here. And in case I need something, I just quickly run back here. And uh, actually, let's no, let's do it like that. Yeah, our lava generator has filled everything up here. Yeah, at some point I need to f start filling in the lava. But first, we need more obsidian for the island in the middle. I want to make that a little bit bigger. Uh, but yeah, for that I really want an efficiency 5 pickaxe with unbreaking. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, it will take some time to get that. And there's iron up there. Did I? I didn't see that before. I didn't see that iron up here. Seriously? Okay, so let's get it. Let's get it. We can all, always use the iron, of course. So, um, where was that zombie spawn? It was back here somewhere. There's more iron up there. Um, didn't I see that? Uh, I'm not high enough. Uh, I need to smoke more. I'm not high enough. So, yep. Yeah. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. So, now we'll get it. Yeah, and of course we need to get one higher. Uh, I almost expected that. <laughs> so let's get another one of these. Um, so, whoop. 
Let's get the rest of it. I want that iron if I see it. I want it. Uh, I'm not sure is iron affected by fortune? I'm not really sure. No, I, I mainly want fortune for uh, for diamonds, of course. Uh, that's my main issue. And of course, emeralds in case they get also they also are affected by it. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, diamonds and emeralds. That's what I want fortune for. The rest, I mean, we do get more than enough coal and iron and, and redstone and lapis and stuff. So we don't really need fortune for that. But um, yeah, still. Um, okay, so did I see a slime? Yes, I saw a slime. Okay. Um, shouldn't it... Shouldn't it repair my pickaxe? Shouldn't it repair my pickaxe? So where the hell is this um, goddamn spawner? So there it goes out. I think the spawner is over here somewhere. There was a spawner around here somewhere. Oh, where was it? Um, pretty sure it was over here somewhere. Pretty sure about that. But yeah, it wasn't down there. It wasn't down there. There is iron though. So uh, let's still go down here quickly and see. Uh... Oh, there's more iron over there and gold. Oh Jesus. So yeah, well, I'll leave that for now. But uh, I will have to mark that because uh, that is cool. We get some more resources down here. So where did we came in? So back there is iron. So let's um, mark that like this. So let's go back here. Where did we find that? I'm pretty sure it was back here. There's a geode up there. There is a geode up there, guys. Did I see that before? I'm not really sure. There's a geode up there. Do you see it? So geode. But I don't want the geode. I want to uh, find that damned... Um, Zombie spawner? Where was it? It's not up here, isn't it? No, there is the uh, there's the mine shaft up there. Yeah, there is the creeper down here. Uh, thank you. So where does this go? Into a deep dark hole that is a black uh, dead end. So. Uh, I don't want to be here. I want to find that damned um, zombie spawn. Where is it? I'm pretty sure it was back here somewhere. There's a spider. So there's a zombie. So it wasn't down there, obviously. And I think it wasn't... No, it can't be back here. There's nothing else here. So, ah, Jesus Christ. I'm lost. Where is my zombie spawner? Where the hell? Now I want to get these uh, iron blocks. I want to get these iron blocks. I need to get rid of some of that. Ah. Okay, what the hell? Okay, so now we have that, but uh, yeah, we still don't have the zombie spawn. Where is it? Oh, it's not down here, obviously. Oh, Jesus Christ, where does this go? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This goes down deep. This goes down pretty deep. Uh, I'm sure the zombie spawner was back here. I'm absolutely freaking sure. Where the hell? So I came in through here. Um, what the hell? I'm I'm completely lost, guys. It wasn't down here. It's that much I know. That much I absolutely know. I, I'm absolutely convinced it was back here. Well, it can't be down there. It just can't be down there. It can't be over here. Was it over here? Hey, no, we, we were here just a moment ago and it isn't over here. Or is it? 
Ah, Jesus Christ. Where's the zombie spawner? God damn it. Oh, guys, where's the zombie spawner? Where is it? Was it not in this cave? I'm pretty sure it was in this cave here. I'm absolutely sure it was in this cave. Absolutely positive about this, but... Can't seem to find it anymore, so... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's a skeleton back there, so there... Yeah. You know what? Die, please. Uh, so this is a dead end. Where the hell did I find that damn zombie spawn? Jesus Christ, do I have to go back and watch my recording from when I found it? Do I have to do that? I, I was pretty sure it is over here, but... Can't seem to find it, uh, but I can seem to find the uh, iron up there. Can we? Can we get it? Can we get it? Yes, we can. Can we get it? No, we can't. Oh, come to me. So, um, yeah, um, it's not down there. So, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, no. Yeah, that sounds like a creeper. Yeah, that sounds like two creepers, actually. Where's the other one? Where did he go? Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't want to waste my bow. Come back here, please. Please come back here. Where are you? Well, now we have a skeleton. Yeah, um... Now we have the creeper, so... Um... I'm not sure, is, is this the one we had before, or is this another one? Yeah, there's another one. Okay. Um. Yeah. So now I'm curious to see. All of our stuff is damaged, but it should be repaired by the experience we uh, pick up, or at least to some degree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the armor, yes. Um, the pickaxe, not so much. So what the hell is going on? Hey, how many creepers are up here? Jesus Christ! Okay, so... Do I need to kill these guys with the pickaxe? Uh, apparently. Where are you? And um, yeah, I have a diamond armor. You can't kill me, so okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. So we can't find the. Uh, I will. I will have to look between recordings. Where the hell this is? Um. And why are there so many goddamn creepers back here? That is insane. I have to look between recordings. Where the hell that is? And uh, yeah. Um. We'll not be able to build this in this episode, but we'll build, we'll build it in the next one. That can be... That's actually a, not a bad thing, because I will be more uh, better prepared then. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll just spend the rest of the episode mining a little bit and then go back to the base. And, uh, well, I have to look at my... I will have to look at my recordings and see where the hell I found this um, zombie spawner. Because I really have no freaking idea where the hell it is. I'm, I'm still convinced it is somewhere around here. But uh, yeah, obviously we can't seem to find it. So 
I don't actually know. <laughs> so let's get the stuff out of here. And there's, there's, there's a ton of iron. So this is still the same iron vein we uh, worked on a few episodes ago. Uh, I, I actually read up on iron veins. So iron veins is not just one uh, area where you have a lot of iron. It's actually, it's, it's really like, a, like a, yeah, it warms its its way through the through the mountain or through the underground. And you can tell there's an iron vein if you find tough, apparently. And this this is tough here. This is tough, isn't it? Yeah, this is tough. So if you have tough, uh, you might have an iron vein. And there's a lot of tough here and a lot of iron. So uh, we might even find more iron here. I don't know. But for now, uh, we're happy with what we have. So uh, because I have quite a bit of iron here, we have quite a bit of the stuff. So maybe if we get all the tough out of here, we'll find more iron underneath. I, I don't know. I mean, let's let's get a, let's get a few tough blocks out of here. And see what is uh what is beneath. I don't really see anything, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll get a few tough blocks here and some up there, and we have more here. And there's actually there is more iron. Um so let's get this one and this one, and yeah. Yeah, if, if you get the tough blocks out, you'll find even more iron, apparently. So um yeah, I'm not really sure what tough is used for. If is it if it is useful at all, I have no idea. But at least, uh, yeah, we'll get some iron behind these blocks. But uh, I will not uh, spend too much time here, right now. Uh, we do we do now know that we can find more iron by uh, mining this stuff here. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm not really sure, but uh, maybe, probably, apparently, I don't know. I don't actually know. Yeah, there's a zombie. So we can still get some rotten flesh here. Um, we can still get some rotten flesh here. It's just not as much as I would like. And we also don't get as much experience as I would like. But yeah, we will, we will build this... Uh, we will build this uh, spawn farm... Spawn farm next time around. So let's see. There's some iron up there, but I don't really, I don't really know if I want to get that up out of the ceiling there. <laughs> uh, so let's get, let's get out of here. I don't really need the stuff. So where the hell are we? So this is where we uh, placed our uh, monument to the vein, basically. Huh? Do I want to block this off? This, this, this actually bothers me here. So uh, do I want to block this off? I probably won't, so let's block this off a little bit. So um, I make one last attempt to find the damn spy, uh, the damn zombie spawner here, and then I will actually end the episode and uh, go and look at my recordings. So uh, I am really confused because I'm pretty sure it was across this thing here. Unless there's another cave that is really, really, really similar. I, I don't know. Um. Maybe there's a cave that is really, really similar to this one. I don't know, actually. But, yeah, it's obviously not here. It's obviously... That damn water is in the way, let me see. Can I do something about the water here? Oh, actually, I can. Actually, I can, like this. So let's put a torch there. Um... Jesus Christ, guys, I have no idea where it was. I have no freaking idea. I just know it was really close to the base and I, I really thought it was back here, but Yeah, apparently not. So let's get the stuff back we found and uh, then I will end the episode and uh, have a look at my recordings at where this damn spawner is. Was it over here? I don't think so. I, have... I hear a zombie, but um, yeah, I don't know where this where this comes from, so... I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. So, yeah, but I promise you that next time we will build a spawn farm. It's either a zombie spawn farm or a um, skeleton spawn farm, depending on what I find. I, I know we have several skeleton uh, spawners discovered, so there, there are several skeleton spawners that we can work on if we don't find the uh, zombie spawner. Um, yeah, because uh, skeletons are also valuable for arrows and bone meal, obviously, so, um, yeah. 
I'll do that in, instead if I don't find... If I don't find a zombie spawner. Uh, spider spawner might also be interesting because uh, we do have two of these back um, back there. And uh, yeah, you can turn string into wool. I think. And actually, let, let me test this. Let me test this. Yeah, actually, we can turn string into wool. So why don't we do that? Because I can sell wool at the desert village. Um, oh, so uh, what did I do? So let's do that. Yeah, 64 blocks of wool. We have quite a bit of wool now. So I might do a spider spawner as well at some point. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we have slime balls. Oh, we have quite a bit of iron. That is cool. Uh, that's cool. We don't really need it currently. So we'll just put it in here for the moment. Oh, we have bones. We have bones and we have some redstone. Where do I have my redstone? My redstone is in there. And we have one more diamond uh, and uh, some stuff here. Oh, that's not where this belongs. Um, this belongs right in there. So we are still set for the spawner build. But I need to figure out where this is. I really need to figure out where this is. I have no freaking idea. I mean, I, I thought I had, but it's obviously not back there. So, uh, or I just looked in the wrong hole. I don't know. I actually do not know. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> so if you know where this goddamn spider sp um, spider this goddamn zombie spawner is, then you put it in the comments. I will also have a look, of course, and hopefully I find it. And then in the next episode, we'll actually build a spawner farm, which will be cool. So um, yeah, we'll do that. But this episode very productive. Uh, we got our full set of. Uh, Diamond armor with mending and unbreaking and also a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe with uh, unbreaking and mending um, Oh, no, actually. Yeah, actually we do. Yeah, uh, but this will be this will be replaced by a better sword uh, Because fire aspect is absolutely terrible and actually I want no, you know what the the problem here is? That is a pretty good sword if you if you just ignore the fire aspect. <laughs> so um, if if it, ha it didn't have fire aspect on it, I could just keep that and put all the other enchantments on it that I need. Like, uh, yeah, um, what did I want? Smite or sharpness? So I want one sword with smite and one with sharpness. Um, maybe I'll still keep it. I don't know. We'll we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at that in the future. I do need more books. I do need more emeralds and to get emeralds i really want that uh, zombie farm yeah so yeah if you like today's episode please leave a like below be back next time uh, to see what else we uh, are uh, going to do here and yeah um, if you didn't subscribe to the channel yet consider doing so and until then i wish you all the best have a great time be safe stay healthy bye